Hi everyone, my name's Wendy and along with my husband Mick, we are the marriage pastors for Audacious Church. Today, we want to think about not being on our own. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 12 it says, Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But if someone who falls alone, they can be in real trouble. Likewise, Two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three is even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. God never intended for us to be alone, or to even walk through life single, without friends and family. From the beginning, God said it was not good for man to be alone. Marriage is only one part of the plan God had for us. God never intended us to get through life unaccompanied. Jesus even sent out his disciples two by two. And in scripture it says, Where two or three are gathered in his name, there am I in the midst. We were created to be in relationship, relationships with each other, and relationships with God. And these should form the basis of a good, strong, healthy marriage. Whatever our situation, we need others in our lives for God to speak to us, shape us and encourage us. We are better together. For those not in a relationship with others, you could start off with a small group. This is an ideal place to start friendships that could become instrumental in your walk with God. This can be a way that God puts us in other people's world for us to help shape them. We can be God's answer in situations. If you are not married yet or planning on being married, you still need those strong relationships with each other. And our prayer for you today is firstly that God will help you to make the right connections with friends to whom you can become accountable to. Secondly, that God's great grace is sufficient for you, for in his power, for his power is made perfect in our weakness. And lastly, that God will continue to build healthy marriages with you and, and through you and around you. So thank you for listening and I hope you have an amazing day, whatever you've got planned. Thank you.